Hey guys, it's literally 6 a.m. on the diet. And yeah, I'm about to get ready to go to the gym before work. Welcome to day seven of Vlogmas. I'll be back, you guys. Hey, y'all. As you can see, it's like super dark out here. Like, I told y'all I hate daylight savings. Why is it this time of the hour and it's so dark outside? Y'all literally cannot even see me. And really, I'm vlogging this. Oop, let me focus. I am vlogging this and talking to y'all because I'm kind of scared. Like, I'm really scared. So I figured, ain't nobody gonna bother me if I'm recording airplanes. I stay by an airport. So y'all hear these airplanes flying over my head? But I figured nobody would bother me if they see a girl with a camera vlogging, you know? I don't think that would be a smart idea to do that. So, I did not say hey to y'all like I normally do. Let's go ahead and tap in. Hey you guys, it's Joyce. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Scenes by Joy. And we gonna get into the nitty gritty today. But your girl, I told you I'm trying to lose weight. Gotta go to the gym before work. I knew my face look crusty. Whatever, y'all know it's morning time. But your girl is trying to work out before work because we're going Christmas shopping. So I'm a secret Santa. And I need to get the rest of my guy baby stuff. So y'all come with me today for that. But before that, we gotta go to the gym. So I can have some energy. So I can lose some weight. And we made it to day seven, you guys. Let me show y'all my gym. You know, it's pretty nice. It's not LA Fitness. Because we're not about to go to LA Fitness right now. But, it'll do. It'll do. So, I'm about to get a mile in. I'm gonna get ready for work, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, so we are officially ready for work. Today is gonna be so ghetto at work. Like, they are star testing today, so I have to move to a different room every 90 minutes. And I have to go early today because I forgot to take my posters down because they're using my classroom. My kids don't even take a star test. But that's neither here nor there. So we're going to go ahead and go to work today. After work, that's when we're going to do our Christmas shopping. I would take y'all to work with me, but I mean, it's just a dry day. Ain't nothing exciting happen. I'm going to have to move room for room for room for room for room for room for room. For room. Yeah, so I'm about to go ahead, head to work. After work, we will meet again. And another thing I want to tell y'all, I know I've been showing my hands a lot in my videos and I just want to give a disclaimer. I'm just not that girl. I'm not that girl who go without her nails being done, okay? Like, people probably think I'm going through a midlife crisis. Ever since I've been yay high to a bullfrog's ass, I've always had my nails done. Always. And I have not had my nails done since, whew, like the first week of November. And I've been a little OD right now because it's only the first week of December. But you guys, I am losing my shit. I said I was going to sacrifice something. I was going to fast something. And my nails was it. But I'm going to have to get some press songs or something, y'all. I don't know why I just went on that rant. I just want to tell y'all that. But I will see you guys after work so we can go Christmas shopping. Okay, guys. So, we have finally got off work and we have made it to Walmart. And I just want to do a little car rent real quick, you guys. Like, I'm tired. I'm so tired. Like, this work-life balance thing has been killing me. I really want to get into the nitty-gritty and talk to y'all about some real-life shit. But I'm going to say that for another episode. But I just, 
I'm just in the mood to vent, to rant, to give y'all just the real spill on life. I want y'all to get to know me on a more personal and more intimate level. I know I'm doing vlogmas. I'm just kind of showing y'all what I'm doing for the holidays, getting prepared for Christmas. But I absolutely cannot wait until I can just dive a little bit deeper into who Joyce is. You know, the lady behind scenes by Joy. And today was just one of those days where I had to push through. You know, trying to make time for my body, trying to make time for, you know, not only my physical health, but just mental health, <sighs> working a whole work shift, switching classes every 90, 90 minutes, trying to teach my students what they need to be taught. And, you know, still after work, having to keep going, like, I have to Christmas shop today because tomorrow is Secret Santa at work. So I have to get my presents. So I'm like, while I'm here, might as well get the other gifts that I need. And it's just, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really thankful for this challenge. I am thankful for this Vlogmas challenge because it's teaching me how to push through. When you have a dream, when you have a goal, really you cannot let anybody stand in your way. Like the only person who can hold you back is you. And all the people out there who's working a nine to five and trying to make their dreams come to life, <clears throat> keep pushing you guys. Like. It's kicking all of our asses, but it's going to pay off. That's that's all I keep thinking about. It's just going to pay off. I know I'm just so determined to be like this mass come media powerhouse. Like, that's what I want to do. I'm so pressed about it. Like, so pressed about it. Even went back to college, got my master's degree in mass come and media. So I can really get into the business side, really get into the entrepreneur side, the technical side, the ins and outs. And although I am dog tired, y'all probably can see these dark circles, bags under my eyes. I just got to keep pushing through because every night that I complete a video, it's just the most, it's the most perfect satisfaction like I feel so good I feel so accomplished and it just makes me forget about me being tired but I'm not gonna lie I am desperate for a vacation I'm desperate to get my hair redone to get my nails done to get my eyebrows waxed get a full body massage like y'all I am crawling to this vacation and i'm not talking about no little weekend vacation no i am talking about a full-blown five-day vacation i cannot wait then i got christmas break coming up y'all i'm sorry but let's go ahead and go to walmart well we are at walmart let's go ahead and go inside walmart and get these gifts and i will take my camera in there but i'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all i'm just not in the mood for all that plus y'all kind of saw me go inside walmart the other day and get my other belongings so i'm trying to run in run out and then when we get to the house i will show y'all what i got and just give y'all tips on how to get christmas gifts on a budget that way you're not flat broke the whole month of december so we'll get into that once i get home okay Okay guys, so we have finally made it home after a long work day. We survived getting up at 6 a.m. in the morning and working out. We survived a whole work shift. We survived going in Walmart. Like, we made it, you guys. So, I'm going to give you all my little friendly tip on how not to go broke during the holiday season. What I do, I start shopping a month or two ahead of time. Like, do not wait last minute to get Christmas gifts, you guys. You know you want to turn up on New Year's Eve. You know you want to go into the New Year's stacking money. So shop ahead. That's what I do so I don't fall into that financial pit. Also, I'm not responsible for that many people during Christmas time, okay? I'm going to make sure I get my grandparents something off top. I'm gonna make sure I get my god baby something. My cousin, she has a baby, so I wanna make sure that I get him a little something. Although his birthday is in November, and I got him some good gifts, I still wanna get the baby a little something. But me and my two best friends, we do not get each other anything for Christmas. We've always been like that. Our thing is, we ball out on each other when it's our birthdays, okay? My my one best friend named Bree, her birthday is in April. My other best friend, Jazz, her birthday is in July. And then my birthday is in August. And during that time, it's straight up, shawty, you can have whatever you like. So, we save all that for that. We just focus on the babies and, you know, very close family members during this time. That way, we just don't break the bank because y'all already know how it is during the holiday season. So, I want to show you all the gifts that I got. So, starting with my guy, Baby Carter. 
I was so pressed about him getting this Carhartt jacket, y'all. This is so cute. I think this is so swaggy for a toddler. I'm not even gonna cap. My cousin, her baby birthday was last month, like I just mentioned, and I got him the jacket with the beanie and some Tims. And I'm like, why not give my guy baby the same jacket? I just think this is the perfect winter coat for a little kid. It's gonna last a long time. So yeah, we got him this. And then my guy, baby, he's so smart, you guys. He is so smart. And I'm not just saying that because I'm his guy, mama. He is very intelligent. And I was telling my best friend that I really want him part of like a STEM academy because he's very good at building things, like taking them apart, putting them together. He was good at this stuff. So the teacher in me wants to get him an educational toy. And okay, before I just get into this toy real quick, I was really pressed about getting him a Lego set. I really wanted him to have a Lego set that they could sit down and build together. But like the smallest one was like $25 and it was super tiny. It was Mickey Mouse and he loves Mickey Mouse. But I'm just like, mm, he's only three. He'll probably lose the pieces. Yes, his mom would help him with it, but I didn't feel like it was worth 25 bucks. And keep in mind, we are balling on a budget, honey. But I ran into this at Walmart, you guys. This was on sale for $24.97. $24.97. You guys, look, it has five science experiments. It creates a tornado that makes things glow. It produces an amazing reaction. You can grow crystal and and it has a T-Rex like replicated tooth that they can dig out. And this is five activities that they can do like over, you know, five weekends. So this is a toy that I'm so happy I got for him because it would last. I can get that mommy and son bonding time. And you know, it's, it's educational. That's the teacher in me. So I got this for my guy, baby. So yeah, we got little Mr. Carter out the way. Now, what I got for Knox, that's my cousin, baby. Like I said, I already balled out on the kid for his birthday, but I just had to get him something. Knox is going through this phase where he's obsessed with dinosaurs. And I love that because that's something that his mom can sit down with him and talk to him about and like name the dinosaurs and show him Discovery Channel videos, things of that such. So, I got Knox, and Knox just turned two. But I got Knox this little dinosaur set, you guys. It has 55 pieces in there. It has plants, all this, rocks. He can set him up a little forest. Knock himself out, kid. And I just had to, because these are only like three books. These are like little tiny ones. You know, in case he want to take them to daycare with him. Put them in his pocket, sleep with them, because he sleep with his dinosaurs. So, I had to get him these. I had to cop these for Knox Knox. So, we got Knox and Carter out the way. And then I'm a secret Santa. Okay? So, on her list, she said that she wanted like an Amazon gift card. Walmart was all out of Amazon gift cards. She said that, hold on, pause. Let's see what she said. What's crazy is that I knew I was going secret Santa shopping today. But, y'all, I left the list at the house and I was not turning around. She said her favorite restaurant was Glorious. Her favorite place to shop was Amazon. She loved the Dallas Cowboys. She um, liked reading thought-provoking books. She loved candles. She really wanted an affirmation um, journal with a calendar. And I really hate, I hate that I did not have this list because I would have gotten her an affirmation calendar because that's just my thing. I'm really big on that, but I believe I have some affirmation cards in my apartment that I've never used. So I'm gonna stick into her bag. They did not have any Amazon gift cards, but I got her a Starbucks gift card, okay? Because what teacher doesn't love Starbucks? I got her this serene candle, okay? Look at that. And I love candles as well, so I was like, I'm giving my girl a good candle. I got her two candy canes, because who doesn't love a sweet treat? And I collect books. I have a whole bookshelf, okay, you guys? And maybe I'll make a video one day about some of my favorite books, but I am an English teacher. I did grow up reading and this book right here let me focus that in narrative of the life of frederick Douglass. she said that she wanted a thought-provoking book so i thought that this would be you know just a good read it says classic thoughts and thinkers i believe it's thought-provoking so i'm going to give this to her as well now as far as my grandparents go my granny she likes jewelry she likes heels 
she she like the whole shebang. Sis is expensive. So what I always do for my grandparents, I just get them cards and I just stick some money in there. Some moolah. Y'all see the little cow? Let me zoom that in. You see that? I get them cards and I just stick money in there. We keep it simple. But the thing is, I like to buy people things that I know for sure that they will like. Like when it comes down to Carter, like I mentioned, I know that his mom want him to have a good winter jacket. I know Carter is into building things. I know Knox love dinosaurs. My coworker, she had a specific list. My grandparents, my papa likes to gamble. My granny likes to shop. I'm giving y'all money so y'all can buy what y'all want to buy, okay? And then I just got these sets. Got some little paper. And you guys, $85, $85. And your girl is done. Of course, I have to put money in my grandparents' card, but we gonna worry about that at the end of the month because I am a teacher. I get paid once a month, so I really have to budget. And you guys, we are done Christmas shopping. Your girl is beat. Your girl is tied. Your girl has mascara up under her eye. Your girl hair is probably sticking up, sitting sideways. Your girl white tee is dirty. Your girl is about to shower. Your girl is about to eat. And your girl is about to go to bed, okay? So as always, thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And for real, you guys, subscribe to my channel. I am really trying to get monetized. I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Subscribe to my channel. Let your friends know, let your sister know, let your cousin know, let your daddy know, let your grandpa know, let your grandma know, let your aunties, whoever, let them know to tune in. We got some exciting come, ugh. We got some exciting content coming for 2023. So make sure that you are locked in so you can get, you know, first dibs on it. All right? So as always, thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys later. Bye.